teachers, ministers of education, industry colleagues, researchers, and everybody involved in STEM education. Welcome to the fourth International Scientix Conference. It is a great honor and pleasure to be addressing the fourth Scientix Conference, bringing together teachers, educators, policymakers, researchers, STEM professionals, and many others from all over Europe to discuss this most important issue on the challenges and opportunities in science education in Europe today. We also know that 50% of current jobs worldwide, around 30% in Europe, will disappear in 25 years. And nine out of 10 jobs will require digital skills. I think space has something uh, that makes us all dream, right? The, the fact that there's so many questions to answer, so many things that we want to learn about space. And becoming an astronaut seems like the natural way to explore space in its fullest uh, capacity right and also the cool things that you could do when you would be floating around in space we know that over 40 percent of eu population lacks digital skills and teachers are not comfortable with innovations and we can understand that with all the changes and it all affects the job market where new jobs are emerging and with that new skills what we've learned uh, through the pandemic lockdown is go both good and bad we managed to uh, to change the uh, the existing, you could call it analog uh, education, uh, almost overnight to a digital one. But we were also doing it in a way where we copied the way we usually teach. But we really learned a lot about the opportunities that we had in the digital context, you know, how dependent some communities would be and others who were left behind in that space and opportunities to really connect more and leverage some of the remote learning opportunities that we had. We continue to maintain a focus on building premier technology products, software and services while being driven by a higher purpose to create an inclusive future for all. This means developing and deploying and using technology for good, including investing in people worldwide to power the workforce. 30 Scientix ambassadors that stepped in to say, well, we don't know what Scientix is, we don't know what we're doing, but we're there. We can help improve STEM education. Scientix ambassadors are local contact points of Scientix. They are the ones that make up our teacher panel. And well, without them, Scientix would definitely not be the same. I encourage my colleagues to participate in some discovery campaign and become Scientix ambassadors. And I'm still in communication with Scientix ambassadors uh, from other countries and we work together. Uh, in fact, uh, Ambassadors, we support and encourage each other. We are inspired by each other's work. Uh, thank you, Scientix, for giving us this opportunity. The goal of this competition was to raise awareness of the negative effects of the ever-increasing climate changes on Earth, uh, specifically those that have affected Southeast Europe. Although climate change contributes an extremely high priority topic, it seems that it has not been integrated yet in practice and in school curriculum of many European countries. Life Terra is a European initiative with the mission to restore our connection with the Earth and also to enable people to take climate action. Climate action that is impactful and it's immediate because we know the urgency of, of the climate emergency. STEM education is a tool for covering the gaps in the continuously divided world. Supporting and innovating STEM education is one of the key goals embedded in the strategy for the educational policy of the Czech Republic up to 2030. And if we can find some sort of common ground where we start the discussion, rather than starting of the, of the point where we, are, we have our entrenched political positions, then I think that's probably a more supportive and more, um, yeah, maybe even a more compassionate place to, to, to try and have a discussion about science. From April 2023, Scientix will continue as an initiative of European Schoolnet, and it will be supported by its ministries of education, by the STEM Alliance industry partners, by the Scientix associate partners, and of course, it will also remain in collaboration with different European Commission funded projects. We work on it because we know that STEM is everywhere. Thank you, everybody, and see you next time.